Hi everyone, this is part two to our ongoing investigation about the Pope and the head wound of the Bible, or the little horn rising. Or in the simplest terms, if you're not very versed in the Bible, it's when the new world order comes and things change upon the whole world, almost like a new Nazi empire rising up that will be chasing down all the Christians, putting a mark of the beast on people. Now the other day we showed how some of these things are matching out to, let's see if we can get it right here, we showed how the devil's right here, showing him come down. And we've mapped a lot of these lines out around the world to verify this. And then we showed how the Pope is right here. Obama's role would be as the man of perdition, the, the person right before this event. Um, he could even die at that time. It's called the head wound of the Bible, like the head wound for the Catholic Church and the head of the United States of America. America, the military power for the Roman Catholic Mystery Babylon Beast system, falls at the beginning of the Great Tribulation. And then the, the new Roman Empire has Russia as their military power going around doing the mark of the beast. Now, and we showed right here, this man that's getting the mark of the beast. The devil comes down, the Pope receives the head injury, Obama does his thing where he betrays the world and nukes half the planet or whatever, or sets up America to be invaded. Now, down here, we had shown, let's get down here, this boot area. You see this boot right here where it says Santa Fe? Now shown that the boot, not only does it represent the betrayal in the Bible, it represents a star system known as the Pallades. This is where heaven supposedly is, cloud nine. When you look at the Pallades in the sky, it looks like a, a P, which is called a backwards nine. But that is, that is what it's all mapping out here, all around the world. And now we showed also that down here, by Buenos Aires, where the new pope is from, right by Entre Rios, we have the pope. See how we have the pope and his hat? And Buenos Aires in this, is in the shape of a key, the key to open up the abyss. See it right here? You can even see a P in there, practically, but that is the key. So we've seen all this before. So let's go on and show some more things that we've shown through here. I don't have all of this mapped out yet, but right here, after this point, it I mean everything is connected all around the earth. I've shown this how everywhere it's done this way. Let's do this right here. You can see this Pope right here. See how his face is here? Now he has his hat, but the top of his hat looks like two breasts. Right there, like Mickey Mouse ears. Do you see this one right here that looks just like a power plant? And we saw the key. Well, that's all right up here for the great earthquake and such with the heart machine. There's the keyhole. And right down here, if you've been following me, we've seen all this and shown all this. This is just to verify it. If you're new to this, please watch a few videos and you'll catch up. In the Bible, it talks of an eagle for the time of the rapture. You can see right here, this eagle, right here with the lines. And this right here is where Camp Pendleton is, and a power plant known as San Onofre. Oh no, he's free. And that's when the eagle leaves, looking like two breasts. See how they have it all right here, even mapped out? There's his hat with two breasts. Well, we need an eagle now. So we have an eagle right here, perfectly with the lines. Even his eye is right there in the shaded area and he's wearing this crown. See the eagle? All right there. Many ways to look at this is, this is verifying scripture. Jesus Christ is real. 
you are saved by grace. Confess the Lord is Jesus. Now, down here, you can see this king. See this man's face right here? And the hat right there? It's the man in his hat. Oops, the eagle. The king. You are being crowned as a king, and you get set down into the boot, into the Pallades. Right there. This is one of many hieroglyphs I've broken down, and you can see in the middle what's known as the leg of the bull. That's considered cloud nine, right there. I have a breakdown of this also if you wish to go look at it. It is showing about the end of days and everybody being going into the leg of the bull, going to cloud nine. That leg, right there. See it? See the crowned man goes into there. See the eagle? Now the eagle actually has his arm around him. This is the eagle and this is his arm around the king guy being set down into the boot. So all of that is right there and all of that matches and as, I, and as a good friend of mine pointed out today Espirito Santo means the Holy Ghost. This man is getting the mark of the beast from this Pope and the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit is leaving. He has lost his way to heaven and so all of that's right there. Well now we need a dragon because in the Bible it says let's get this guy up here but in the Bible it says that the dragon gives him power gives the this guy power right here who becomes after this giant event see the breasts? Well we need a dragon there he is with his horns right there it's one thing if I could fake a little bit of this but for the whole story to work out perfectly and if you've been following me we did all of this over here on Africa also I've done it in many places around the world it'll it takes a little bit of time but we're mapping out everything as we go so all of that's right there there's the devil with his horns comes down and after the head wound after Obama flips the switch and betrays America he's over here they're doing the mark of the beast on this guy the Holy Spirit comes out of him that's this is the time when they flip the switch on that big event over there and also they keep showing right here is a trigger event also with the methane gas and if you notice the at the time I'm making this video they have a a large problem out here again but with methane gas they have everything set up here for America to fall in one hour when they flip the switch on this this is the day the grace and mercy of our Lord ends but here we go this verifies my channel over and over again there's the eagle I think all that stuff looks pretty cool it's all right on there perfectly traced by these yellow lines right around there even where the eyes are there's normally a formation that they have the vegetation growing now I haven't finished this we have to go all the way across and get here but right here is this Pope well we need one more thing to give him away let's go ahead and get his face out of the way let's get rid of all this for a second even these guys over here and right here where that Pope is you can see let's get him up here that wolf see how it is right here in this vegetation we need to save our brothers and sisters from this Catholic Church stuff the Mary worship is in the Bible it says that they're gonna all go to this time of the testing and if the Catholics are strong enough then just don't take the mark of the beast there's going to be a great deception of coming upon the whole world. See the wolf right there? Sometimes that's too close like that. Let's put it right there. And then we have the Pope. Right there, right after this big event with the breasts. And there's the boot. 
key for the abyss. The Pope again, showing it was all perfectly planned for him to become Pope. There's the king going down into the boot. There's the eagle in the book of Revelations meant to carry the bride away. There's the eagle with its arm around the kings, or you being put into the boot when you receive your crown. There we go. And then to top it all off, right here, perfectly placed, we have the dragon. Right in place. Okay, I think we got it all on there. There we go. The same things we showed over at Africa. Let's get rid of everything now. Confess with your mouth the Lord is Jesus. Believe in your heart. God hath raised him from the dead, and you'll be saved. Hallelujah. And you'll receive your crown. And go to heaven. Cloud nine. Thank you very much, everybody. We will continue this investigation, and we will finish out mapping out this continent and add it to all of the other ones. Hallelujah.